The past has a compelling story to share, but sometimes it comes to us so worn or altered from its journey that it impedes our ability to tell that narrative. The caboose fits this description, having undergone a series of paint jobs and alterations, and having been exposed to the elements for decades. This caboose was built by the Elgin, Joliet, and Eastern Railway line around 1925, and later purchased by the Great Western Railroad. Beginning in 2010, museum staff began restoring the caboose to its original appearance. The goal of the restoration was to preserve as much of the original structure as possible, but also to make the necessary changes to improve the longevity of the caboose. The window frames, for example, were rotted and failing. Restoration staff built custom frames from scratch to ensure that the caboose would be properly protected from weather and vermin that could cause further damage. The burst of colors represents the original interior paint scheme. After scraping back layers of paint, the restoration revealed sea foam green ceilings, dark brown floors, forest green and white walls, and a cheery yellow trim. Cabooses originated as traveling offices, bunk rooms, and kitchens. They provided the train engineer and other crew members a place to work, sleep, and eat. Different cabooses offer different amenities, depending on the needs of that rail line. This caboose doesn't offer much in the way of sleeping quarters, but it does provide a workspace for the engineer. The collapsible desk allowed the engineer's documents to be kept safe, organized, and out of the way when he wasn't processing paperwork. The cupola was essentially another workspace for the engineer. From this vantage point, he could see the rails and the other train cars. He kept an eye out for mechanical problems, as well as approaching trains. For a while, Windsor's caboose served double duty and transported passengers before a designated passenger car was available. You could imagine a handful of passengers seated on the long wooden benches at the back of the caboose as the train trudged over the rails. Likely, the ride wasn't very comfortable. Cabooses met a swift end in the 1980s, when computer technology replaced the responsibilities of the train crew. Because the caboose no longer helped the train earn a profit, railroads were all too willing to see them go. The caboose has captured the public imagination since its beginning. So much so that abandoned cabooses can be found around the world, repurposed as restaurants, hotels, homes, and for other uses. Their original purpose now discontinued, the caboose represents for some the figurative end of the Great Railroad Age. <laughs>